expressing relationships with numerical values. Alashma. Circus City, Utah. Yeah, sure, it exists. Has started offering a new incentive to get people to use the carpool lane. Anytime eight clowns are traveling together in the same Volkswagen, each clown will be given a PayPal chit for 15 bucks. If 20 cars full of clowns take advantage of the offer, how much is the city going to have to PayPal out? Well, every once in a while, you'll come across a problem like this that uh, really isn't all that difficult. It's just getting a handle on what the problem is saying and what it's asking you. It can sometimes uh, give you a headache like you've just taken an air horn in the ear. It usually helps to visualize this scenario. Well, here are 20 cars. Each of them has eight clowns inside. Each of those clowns is going to make 15 bucks. We can either attack this thing step by step or all at once, but all we really have to do is multiply those three things together. So let's do it. 20 times 8 times 15, 2400. Well, if we'd figured out first how many total clowns there were, we'd just take 20 times 8 to get the 160, then take 160 times the amount of each PayPal check for 15 bucks, and we still get 2400. Or, we could have figured out the amount for each car by taking 8 clowns times the 15 bucks to get 120, then multiply that by the 20 cars, and it's 2400 once again. No matter how you slice it, the city is going to have to pony up 2400 bucks to its environmentally conscious, or a money-hungry, clown population. Don't feel bad for them. They'll make up for it in parking tickets.